In this video, we'll be looking at the key elements of a statistics experiment. An experiment can be used to test for the cause and effect between two variables. For an experiment, we need to determine our participants. Let's say we want to check the efficacy of a cold medication. In other words, does the medication do what it is intended to do? We select several people to run the experiment on. These people are called participants. Then, we can determine the treatment. To understand what a treatment is, we first need to understand the terms factor and level. A factor is an explanatory variable manipulated in an experiment and the values chosen for each factor is its level. The combination of all the factors that a participant receives is his or her treatment. In our experiment, the factor is the use of medication and the amount of medication that a participant receives is the level. Once we've determined the participants and their treatment, we can determine what to use as our response variable. This should be a measurable response to the treatment. Perhaps it's the number of days it takes to recover from the illness, fever after taking the medication, or another measure of how each participant feels. Then, we can determine the experiment design. There should be some randomization involved in assigning treatments for participants. Treatments can be assigned completely randomly, or we can group assignments into blocks according to something they have in common, then randomly assign treatments within each group. Another element that helps us to analyze the effect of various treatments in an experiment design is using a placebo as a control variable for a randomly selected group of participants. A placebo is a neutral treatment that is known to have no real effect on the response variable. Using a placebo, like a sugar pill, is one method that can be used to blind the participants in an experiment. Blinding means that those involved in the experiment aren't able to see the information that might influence the outcome of the experiment. An experiment is said to be double-blinded if those influencing the results, like the participants, and those evaluating the results, like the doctors, are both blinded. Once the experiment has been designed and executed, we can determine the meaning of the results. If the differences between the groups treated by the medication and the placebo control group is bigger than that caused by randomization, the differences are said to be statistically significant. Here's a summary of what we've learned. Experiments are used to determine the cause and effect between an explanatory variable and a response variable. Participants or subjects are the who of our experiment. A treatment is the combination of levels of all factors assigned to each subject. The response variable is a measurable response to the treatment. In an experiment design, treatments should be completely randomized or randomly assigned within blocks. In a double-blinded experiment, all individuals that might affect or evaluate the outcome are blinded.